Seattle's first sports superstar. Spencer Haywood is back in the city, fresh off raising the 12's flag at CenturyLink Field, and is talking about a new project with, which celebrates his life. King 5's Chris Daniels has the story of the man who broke boundaries. Boy, I just can't miss. At 66 years young, I can't even miss. Spencer Haywood, you're going to get a lot of them, son. Still looks at ease on a basketball court. Let me just miss one for the fun of it. A place he's always felt comfortable. I can't even miss. Even though the surroundings may not have always felt comfortable with him. I've been punished for decades. You see, Haywood has been at times a basketball pariah since he left Seattle. You like the movie uh, Unusual Suspect? Mm -hmm and where they're looking for a Kaiser Sorce. I am Kaiser Sorce. They can't say my name. Because way back when, in 1970, then Seattle Sonics owner Sam Shulman wanted to sign the 20-year-old to a professional deal, but the National Basketball Association said no. Because at that time, you had to wait for four years after your high school class had graduated before you could play in the NBA. Haywood took the case all the way to the Supreme Court and won. I had Sam Schulman and I had the city of Seattle at my back. He ended up averaging nearly 20 points and 10 rebounds a game over his storied career, which also included a celebrity marriage and drug abuse. It is a story made for the movies. It, it was almost a civil rights story, a human rights story. That Dwayne Clark could not turn down. My mother was picking cotton for $2 a day. He's produced a film called Full Court, the Spencer Haywood story. That these hands were for something else. That he says will premiere at SIF next year. They really look at what he did for the young kids that came into the NBA. It will also include a happy ending. Haywood, after decades of NBA animosity, was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in September. The cheers echoing as he raised the 12's flag at the Seahawks game yesterday. It is a life that the man who once had his Sonics jersey retired took me back to the days at the Coliseum. Says is still missing one thing. Where's our team? <laughs> Where's the Sonics, you know? For his legacy to be complete in Seattle. It's good to be back. Chris Daniels, King 5 News.